despite the fact that Descendants was released in 2015, and despite the fact that I'm half of a target audience, I didn't see it until quite recently, and I fell completely in love with it. Now, the reason I'm half of a target audience is because this feels to me like a kind of coming-of-age teenage film, which is one of my least favourite genres, but at the same time, I'm a huge fan of the evil side of Disney. I love Maleficent. I love the evil queen. And to have a film that's about the teenage children of the Disney villains sounds incredible. So I don't know why I never got around to watching it. Maybe I felt it would be too teeny. Maybe I felt it would not live up to my expectations of Disney villains. It's absolutely fantastic. And there's no surprise that there are several sequels after this. It's a film that's still very beloved by a lot of people and from start to finish you will not turn your eyes away from the screen particularly if you um are quite a big fan of, of disney villains so this was as i said released in 2015 and it's directed by kenny ortega written by Yo yosan josan mcgibbon and sarah Pariot. i apologize if i pronounced those incorrectly and it stars among others dove cameron and cameron boyce and I'll read the description from IMDb. I've kind of touched on what it's about, but this says, The teenage son of the king and queen of Oradon offers the troublemaking children of villains a chance to attend prep school in the kingdom. Basically, the villains have been banished, but they've given their children a chance to go to this school and to discover, I guess, life in the more positive, bright world. And when they're there, they encounter prejudice, they encounter problems... And the question when you go into this is, are they going to be villains like their parents? Are they going to cause chaos and problems? Or are they going to actually end in? And that narrative in itself is really nice because it looks at, well, I don't know if it directly looks at this, if you could argue, but certainly you can read into this a study of inherited traits and personalities and is anybody actually born evil or is it learned behaviour? And apparently, actually, the tagline is, they're not bad, they're just born that way. And it does give them a chance to change their attitudes and change their personalities. And they do start out ridiculously evil. They're the daughters of Maleficent and Evil Queen and Jafar and, you know, everybody else. But we have some really nice character development. And that's really interesting to watch. The thing I love most about this, though, is the visual beauty. It's one of the most stunning things ever. The set designs are ridiculously incredible. The costumes are insane. They are so amazing. Amazing? Amazing. I really like the special effects in this one. The colours are absolutely fabulous. It is one of the most beautiful films I've ever seen. I... I've said this many times before, and I'll say it many, many times again. I prefer a juicy narrative to a film that is visually appealing. Because I have no technical skills to create visual beauty, but I can write and I do prefer narratives over, I guess, substance over style. But this one combines both. And when I say style, I mean style. It is amazing. The costumes are by Cara Stone. I am almost certainly not pronouncing that correctly but the costumes are some of the best I've ever seen in any film ever they look amazing and the characters are all brilliant they have traits that are likable traits that you don't really get on with I think they're very well-rounded characters my favorite Disney villain is Maleficent and I think the portrayal of Maleficent here is pretty great I'm pretty happy with the portrayal of these Disney villains bearing in mind we have our own expectations, particularly if there's an existing live-action version. Um, so obviously Maleficent for me is played by Angelina Jolie in my head, but Kristen Chenoweth does a great job with his character in this film. And we have the Evil Queen and Jafar and Cruella de Vil and just these absolutely fabulous characters. For the most part, it embodies what one would expect from a traditional fairy story, but it's got a different perspective and a different different outlook and I could not be more wrong with my anticipation that I wasn't going to like it it's perfect I love it I feel like if this would be if this had been out when I was younger I'd have had to have had all the merchandise it is very easy to be obsessed with it if you haven't seen Descendants and you're a fan of Disney or Disney villains please watch it you will not be disappointed